All right, hey folks, uh, we are streaming, at least according to this. Uh, I am going to uh, take a moment. I want to share the link. We're going to be testing out um, what I hope is um, our new chat window in the stream. Um, should be able to see it uh, right up in right up in this area. Right over my cursor, and then over. Okay, so um, I want to share it because I want to see if I can get some uh, get some test subjects in here, and we can get uh, this rolling, and that would be awesome. So I just need you guys to uh, give me a moment and uh, allow me to share some links so that we can get that done. Okay, cool. It seems to be working. Um, that's nice. Let's see if it is my chat pop over there. That's up oh, there. It goes okay. There is a serious delay. Quite a long delay, but the chat window seems to be working. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a weirdly long delay. I need to see what I can do about that. Hold on a second. I got, uh, da, 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 da. is that it? Uh, that's my number. Okay. Let's see here. Well, that's weird. The delay, I've got it zero seconds. severe that is interesting I'm gonna yeah I'm definitely gonna have to look into that I don't know why it's doing that but. um no thank you for thank you for helping me test um I got two things I gotta cover tonight um finish doing the last of my uh my uh links my link spraying and spreading and all that kind of good stuff stream omens Bot running. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that does. Yeah, it's it definitely. I mean, the twenty-five seconds is very long. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know how to shorten it either. I'm guessing it's a case of it's going from YouTube's chat into stream elements, and then filtering into me. I guess I don't. No. Like I, I'm I'm not sure why it's a, such a long delay, but we'll we'll figure it out. <clears throat> the delay from broadcast from when I say a word to when it shows up um in your on your end um seems to be about ten to fifteen seconds. So unfortunately I, I'm this may just be the way it works. I was trying to find a different widget uh, or way of getting the chat into OBS. Um, a friend of mine said, "Try um, what the heck was the other one? Steam Stream something. Ugh, I can't even remember now. Um, Streamlabs, that's what it was. And um, Streamlabs was. Um, it's not great." <laughs> At least I'm having trouble with it. It might be better for Twitch, but it's definitely not working out for me trying to do things on, um, 
trying to get things done on uh, on um, YouTube. Um, also, in the case of if I want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time, you have to pay a premium for it, and I'm just like, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not making enough off the channel to go um, throwing. What was it? I think it was something like forty dollars a month at at this thing, and I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> that's that's not happening. Maybe if I was a pro, maybe if I was making like, you know, three digits, uh, okay, I'd be all right with losing half, almost half of it off the front, but it ain't happening. Not not at this current stage. Um, yeah, all right. What was the thing I was going to do? I don't remember what it was. Okay, I think that was the only thing I was checking. But at least we know, know that the uh, the stream is working. So that is a positive. Okay, um, getting on with this. So uh, what we got here um, is this is the announcement page and the sign-up page for uh, the Miniatures Madness event that... Greg's Games uh, will be running in, uh, on the 6th, which is this Saturday. Uh, it's also a free comic book day, so just, you know, be aware. Um, get your comic books in the morning, and then after that, go and spend the rest of the day playing some minis games. Uh, they are going to be doing miniature painting, miniature wargaming, um, whole, all that kind of nice stuff. Here's the description. Uh, join us as we bring our Spring Miniature Madness events to a close as we celebrate the memory of the person who helped bring us together, Brian O'Donnell. Uh, Brian helped form the Miniatures Club of Central New Jersey over 10 years ago. He brought us all together and taught us the finer points of the games we love and the importance of bringing new players into the fold to help keep the games running. Though Brian is no longer with us, we honor his memory every time we roll our dice and slide our models across the table. Uh, today we will gather at, uh, gather together and celebrate Brian in the best way we know how. Friendly games, cheerful banter, and good times together. Sitting at tables, building models, painting, sharing war stories, and enjoying food, good food and drink. There is no entry fee for the celebration. There are uh, There is no formal tournament, though games are fully encouraged. Food and drink will be provided courtesy of Greg's Games and the O'Donnell family. Door prizes will be handed out throughout the day as well. All miniature games are welcome. We ask that you intend to, uh, that if you intend to attend, uh, you indicate by buying a seat priced at zero dollars to give us a headcount so we can appropriately plan food and drink. Uh, yeah. So um, I've I've talked about it when it happened. Um, so you, you look up Brian's name, you'll, you'll find our story. But uh, the the quick version is is that Brian was killed by um, uh, a guy under the influence uh, while coming home from work, and um, he got into a car accident, and uh, that, he, he is no longer here. And um, I, I always like to make sure that we appropriately remember him. So. Um, Every time there is something in his honor, um, I uh, I make a point to uh, make sure that it is there. Um, if you are attending, make sure that you let them know. Let them know with some you know appropriate amount of time. Uh, I, my intention is to swing by. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll do some camera work, and then I have other. Uh, I have other obligations that day, so I will not be in attendance the full day. I'll probably be staying for maybe an hour or two, and then I gotta go. Um, such is such is my life. <laughs> such is my life. Such is such are my days. Um, I hope everyone else has a good time. Uh, take plenty of pictures. Take plenty of video. Get them to me. I'd love to see. I'd love to see what I'm gonna miss. But please do do send that my way. Um, and if you're going to do free comic book day, make sure you get all those titles you're looking for. Uh, yeah. So, there's that. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. Next thing is going to be... Let's see, hold on, I got it right here. Uh, there it is. Okay, so, this is the other big article. I had actually meant to cover this several days ago, um, 
several friends had gotten a hold of me, been like, "Yo, are you gonna cover this?" And I was like, "Yeah," and then everything else happened, and I was working on formal episodes because we were talking about which is better, formal episodes or me streaming. Uh, a lot of people mentioned that they miss me doing formal episodes, but sometimes streaming is just a little bit easier and a little bit quicker and a little bit simpler. So I'm still gonna do streams. I'm just gonna try and get more written episodes in. <laughs> um, that will come and go, but you know that's the thing. All right, um, Hasbro removes artist signature from D and D movie poster. Now I'm sure at this point everybody has heard about this incident. Um, if you have not, actually, let's zoom that in a little bit, make it a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. Zoom. Boop. 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 There we go. There we go. Now oh, it's nice and big. All right. Um, if you if you have not heard about this, um, well, we're gonna go over it now. So there's that. Uh. <laughs> the the artist in question is taking it pretty well, though, um, as you can suspect, the community is having a big fat freak out over it, uh, particularly those who are always looking at uh, Wizards of the Coast to have something to point and scream and blame and all the rest. Um, you know, I guess we can get into the commentary and punditry section when we're all done covering the article. So hopefully you will all stick around for that at the end. Hasbro removes artist signature from D&D movie poster. Famous fantasy and Dungeons and Dragons uh, artist Jeff Easley uh, painted the promotional mini poster given out at, er uh, at early screenings of the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. I did not get one. I also did not get my popcorn bucket. I'm kind of cheesed off on both of those. Uh, finally scored a copy of the signature print. They took my signature off the painting. One month after the giveaway was made available to fans, the artist obtained a copy of the mini poster. He noted that Hasbro erased his signature from the print. Uh, Paramount Pictures handled the distribution of the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Uh, Honor Among Thieves. Paramount or their marketing partners may have directed the removal of Jeff Easley's signature. If so, the erasure is not specifically attributable to uh, Hasbro, but instead, this came from their partner in the D and D movie. Either way, it's kind of a kind of a crap thing. You want to give artists their credit and give them their due. Pay artists, credit artists. Uh, on April twenty eighth, Jeff wrote in the fans of the art of Jeff Easley Facebook group that he acquired a copy of the print and that was first released on March twenty ninth. He did not call out the delay in obtaining copy of his work. Instead, the artist revealed that the printed uh, revealed that the printed version of his painting had been edited to remove his stylized signature. Um, I've only heard about what you just said on this topic. Heard a fair amount more uh, about the old school MTG Pinkerton's thing, though. Uh, lol, what the fuck, Watsy? Um, yeah, actually, okay, so funny that you bring up the Pinkerton thing, because I actually already covered that. I had, there was a stream I did, uh, or a recorded episode, I can't remember which one I did, but, um, yeah, we very much talked about, um, the Pinkerton thing. Uh, wait a minute, I can actually look it up, and I can tell you the exact title of the episode, so you can go right to it. Give me one second here. Do, 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 do. Mm, nope, I think I did it as an actual episode. Yep, here we go. Uh, Watsy threatens YouTuber with uh, Pinkerton, quote, big heavy hitter guys, unquote. So if you're looking for that, um, that's the title you want to look for. Yeah, we we covered that. Um, even uh, the guy's video explaining what happened uh, got played. It's not great. It's, you know, well, uh, let me leave my punditry for, and my, my hardcore analysis of punditry for the end. But, and let's go through the article, and we'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll make my snide remarks as we go through, of course. But uh, we'll leave the hardcore punditry for the end. Um, and then remove the stylized signature. Uh, Jeff Easley's On Inner Among Thieves poster, along with the D20 popcorn bucket from AMC Theaters, are among the most, uh, the best souvenirs associated with the movie. Uh, taking the artist's name off of the finished 
product uh, robs him of the customary credit he deserves as the author of his work, which might uh, be apropos for a movie that is uh, that has thieves written into the title, which is a low blow. That's you don't need that. That's some real BS. It's some real shade, and it's really, really poorly executed and didn't need to be there. Um. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I I get it, but at the same time, that's some that's some BS. You don't need to you don't need to phrase it that way. Uh, Krabby and Artist Signature out of an illustration uh, can occur with the original uh, meets the layout. Cropping an artist's signature out of an, uh, an illustration can occur when the original image meets the layout artist. Every artist uh, working in publishing knows uh, uh, knows that cropping, where the image is trimmed, can occur. In this instance, uh, easily signature was not cropped off, but digitally removed. The residue of the erasure is still visible uh, beneath where the E in easily originally resided. So, here's the original, and there's this thing and you can see yeah right in there it's uh yeah they did a pretty pretty cr yeah and here's even the oof yeah they did a pretty crappy job of trying to remove that it does not does not look great um you, you think that they were gonna crop it out they would try and do a better job of like hiding the fact that they cropped it out or i'm sorry digitally removed it whatever um Luckily done by Hasbro or E1, uh, the production company that filmed the uh, D&D movie or DVD film. This change was uh, an un was unexpected and arguably needless alteration of the original work. Uh, I agree, 100. percent There is no point in doing that. Uh, in this case, removing Jeff Easley's mark contrasts uh, with the signature policy of some of Hasbro's subsidiaries, which is the Coast Watsy. Hasbro subsidiary that publishes the D and D uh, RPG as well as Magic the Gathering card game does not remove artist signatures from the work that they source. In fact, Jeff Easley has provided artwork uh, for the 2021 Magic the Gathering core set, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, as well as other uh, card art over the years. His signature was left intact unless cropped. Uh, unless cropping was required, his art. Uh, my God, I can't speak today. His artwork for the Den of the Bugbear D&D uh, dungeon module version, Magic the Gathering uh, card clearly shows his signature. Magic the Gathering goes further in celebrating the artist by listing their name on the bottom of each card, which I, I thought was their their way of dealing with in case the signature is cropped. At least they're still credited underneath. Games Workshop have been denying creators credits for their art and sculpts for years. Even more recently, their presenters on uh, Warhammer Plus were restricted to showing only their hands on painting videos. Well, that's some BS. I mean, wouldn't you want to actually give these guys some celebrity? <sighs> okay, here is my thought on that. Because I'm getting a little sidetracked for a moment. Wouldn't you actually want your artist to actually get some celebrity? Because here's the thing. Then you go to a convention. You say, you know what? We have our marketing team. We have our reps. And then we'll bring an artist. Maybe you draw a lotto. Maybe whoever, you know, does this project. Whoever's really working hard. Whatever. You make it a reward system. Whatever you want to do. You bring one artist or two artists with you. Guess what? There's going to be a lot of people who are going to want to line up to shake hands, get tips, talk shop, whatever the case is, to, you know, resolve, enjoy, bask in the glow of, or just get bragging rights. Hell, even take photos. And guess what? Viral marketing. Hey, look, I got a photo of me and who's you Watsy. Yay! You know, and then you get your bragging rights and everything else. I don't understand why this is always such a damn issue. I can't think that it's going to be something like um, Wally from uh, uh, Seth Meyers, where you know you get paid by the line. I mean, you got to pay them for their time to be at the convention, but still, I think you'd make it up in sales. Or unless they're thinking that they're not going to, the sales numbers wouldn't change whether they're there or not. I don't know. It's all it's all a mess. Um. 
It's notable that Watsi's uh, standard Magic the Gathering uh, art policy clashes with Hasbro or E1's handling of this promotional poster. This incident may be attributed to a difference of policies uh, within different arms of Hasbro's corporate empire, which means they need more of a standardized system. Um, at other times, this racer may uh, might have flown under the radar were it not for Hasbro's recent history of troubled public incidents, like sending the Pinkertons to a fan's house, which, you know, Alex and I already discussed with you. <laughs> Um, the OGL crisis, which we have discussed multiple times on here. Uh, Bank of America's scrutiny over MTG's prices. Um, I think we discussed that as well. I can't remember if we actually covered that one, but I think we did. Uh, and other heavy-handed decisions. Yeah. Needlessly uh, erasing Jeff's signature is yet another incident to add to Hasbro's list of ill-advised decisions thus far in 2023. Uh, yeah, they're they're basically they're basically committing suicide by a thousand cuts. Um, they they just keep shooting themselves in the foot, for lack of a better term. It's it's pretty it's pretty blatant. And I, I think it's a case of they're having some sort of internal strife, and that's just bleeding out into the public. That would be my guess. Despite the fact that the alteration to the printed artwork could be taken as an insult. Jeff Easley's reaction was professional and lighthearted because he really is that kind of guy. In the same thread where he announced the signature revelation, he stated that he found this more amusing than anything else. The creatives that work for Hasbro and similar companies cannot control and are not at fault for their management's decision. As with any of the difficulties he's experienced in his long career or of or ugh, in his long career of working for corporate clients, Jeff Easley proves he's a class act, and that is very much the case. GW have been bleeding, uh, presenting talent who leave and set up rival YouTube channels, uh, the painting phase. And now, yeah, I was going to say Rogue Hobbies I know about. Uh, painting phase I didn't know, but I know Rogue Hobbies uh, jumped ship and uh, started their own YouTube channel. Wait, is it their or her? I don't know if it's, I don't know what pronoun they use. Um, I'm going to go middle of the road and say there, um, and if I'm wrong, uh, I sincerely apologize, but I also don't want to offend by using she when it might be they. Um, but, uh, uh, I don't know, I always feel like the, I always feel like they, when I don't know, is, is the safer of all bets. Um, but I'm using that with, uh, with all intended respects, of course. Um, on Facebook, Jeff Easley shared his thoughts on the incident, his point of view and attitudes are, are hallmarks of his professionalism. To be fair, none of the other promo art I saw was signed. Uh, none of the 50s and 60s uh, poster artists ever got credit for the work. I would uh, just think my association with early-ish TSR would be the only reason I got the job. Uh, editor note, both Egg and Gertie are keen to do the right thing thing and note that while Jeff called attention to his certain uh, to the certain reactions from fans uh, would be life changing uh, challenging for the artist please be considerate and then I'm guessing it's just a whole comment section down there yeah it's a whole comment section we don't need to get into that because you know you don't read the comments okay so that all being said um, yeah so I do believe I mentioned it before this is another case of death by a thousand cuts for Watsy um I, I believe the phrase that I really want to use here is they keep sitting on their own balls because it feels like no matter what they do, they really are just constantly getting themselves over. Uh, Jeff, for his credit, is just a stellar guy. He's really easygoing and proves that he is nothing if not professional. If memory serves, I think I ran into him at Gen Con? I want to say Gen Con, and it was like, God, it was like 10 years ago, if not if not possibly longer. Um, I know I ran to Elmore 10 years ago, and he was, he was a class act, too. Um, yeah, I mean, seriously, it's that, that's what there is to it. Uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm not really sure what else to say other than, you know, they, they need to fix themselves. They need to right their ship. 
because I feel like it's sinking. Do I think that um, they're in danger of losing the entire market to some other fantasy RPG? Not even close, but um, they're not doing themselves any favor. That's for damn sure. All right, so, you know, talking about uh, the event at my local, my local game store, talking about Jeff Easley, um, and testing out the chat function. I think I've uh, hit all my bullet points for tonight. I'm going to sign off. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining in uh, and uh, watching. And we will see you all later. I know this was a uh, really short notice to do this, but uh, I do definitely appreciate the, uh, the interactions. Uh, now that we have a functional, albeit needs to be tweaked, um, chat bot or chat window, uh, we will go about stylizing it and making it all pretty. And um, I look forward to everybody uh, uh, helping out and giving us feedback so we can make this whole section and part of our channel much prettier. Thank you guys and uh, good night.